So now let me introduce the rules of limits, rather the basic rules of limits. And a lot of them will probably seem pretty simple after after we try a few examples. But I would say, you know, just still practice them. Um, let's not take them for granted either, even though they're a little simple. And hopefully you will find my explanation useful. So let's get started. Starting from the top. K is a constant. Okay, so any number. And we want to find the limit as x approaches another constant of a constant. So that is just going to be equal to this constant right here. And I just had to say the word constant several times. Hopefully that did not confuse anyone. So let me just use an example to illustrate. What is the limit as x approaches 3 of 5? That's just 5. As simple as that. Just because, imagine um, f of x as 5. That's just a straight line, a straight horizontal line, parallel to the x-axis at 5. So if x approaches 3, we're just going to get 5, regardless of actually what that constant is. OK, so how about limit of x as x approaches the constant c? Now we're just going to get c. So if I had lim as of x as x approaches 3, that's just going to be equal to 3, plain and simple. OK, so far so good, I would hope. And what if we have something like the limit as x approaches c of a constant multiplying multiplied by a function? In this case, we can actually take out the constant and multiply by the limit of just the function. So let me use a simple example. Let's say that I have limit as x approaches 3 of 5x. That's going to be equivalent to 5 times the limit as x approaches 3 of x. And because of this rule right here, we know that the limit as x approaches 3 of x is just 3. So we just have 5 times 3, which is 15. That's it. Now let me just switch colors for the next example. And what if we have the sum or difference of limits? The sum, or sorry, the limit of the sum is the sum of the limits. It's easy as that. Um, let me use a simple example here. What is the limit as x approaches 3 of 5 plus 5x? That will be just equal to limit as x approaches 3 of 5 plus the limit as x approaches 3 of 5x. And we know this is equivalent to 5. We know this is equivalent to 15. As we already calculated it right here. 5 plus 15, 20. That's simple. So the same rule would apply to a difference. So if we were to replace this plus with a minus, you would just get limit minus the other limit. OK, then next next uh, rule uh, the limit of the product is the product of the limits so if we had something like say limit as x approaches 3 of 4x we'll just use different numbers here times 2x that will be equivalent to the limit as x approaches 3 of 4x all times the limit as x approaches 3 of 2x. And that's going to be 4 times 3 plus 2 times 3. I skipped a couple steps to, to do this, but uh, I bet that most people will be com comfortable with that. <laughs> Just because I can take out the 4, right? So I have 4 times the limit as x approaches 3 of x, which is just 3. So I have 4 times 3, 12. 2 times 3, 6. 
and uh, I've made a big mistake here because it's supposed to be multiplication and uh, the limit as x approaches 3 of 2x is just 2 times 3 sorry about that so we have 4 times 3 12 times 2 times 3 which is 6 12 times 6 72 so that is the limit of course as x approaches 3 of 4x times 2x then the li one more rule actually two more rules the next one the limit of f of x over g of x as x approaches c will be equal to limit as x approaches c of f of x over the limit as x approaches c of g of x. So the limit of the quotient is the quotient of the limits. But one really important restriction here the limit as x approaches c of g of x cannot be equal to zero. What does that mean? Well, if whatever we have here would end up being equal to zero, we need to figure out a way to simplify things, to cancel things out, so that we can plug in the value of c that won't give us zero for the limit. More on that in later sessions in, or uh, in videos. But uh, for now, just keep that in mind. So if we did have the limit as x approaches c of g of x equaling 0, we just have to go back and figure something else out. So let me just give you a very precise and quick example here. Let's say I had something like the limit as x approaches 0 of 2x over 3x. So if I just went like this right and I whoops limit as x approaches 0 of 3x this would be equal to 0 and I can't just say 0 equals 0 that just does not work so what I would what I would need to do first is to actually cancel out the x's and we have lim as x approaches 0 of 2 over 3 and that's just equal to the constant 2 over 3. So we scratch this. We can't do the quotient rule for limits in this case because the bottom would be equal to 0. So that's just equivalent to 2 over 3. Okay, and then finally one more rule. And actually let me just make some room here to explain that rule. Okay, so the limit as x approaches c of a function f of x to the power of n is just the limit of that function in entirely to the power of n. So let's say I have limit as x approaches 2 of x squared. That's just going to be equal to the limit as x approaches 2 of x entirely squared. And we know that the limit as x approaches 2 of x is just 2 according to this rule right here. And 2 squared is 4. So that's it. Okay, so now I would suggest that you scroll down, try some questions to find some lim some limits, and good luck some good luck with limits. And also don't forget that you can click on the questions to check out the answers and we have several videos explaining in detail how to obtain each answer so again good luck